Welcome back to KNL Farms. I'm Ken. I hope this video finds you well. And uh, here in just a little bit, or towards the end of the video, I'll show you the myth that uh, I busted a little bit. But uh, but uh, I've been cutting firewood, and I've actually been cutting firewood for a considerable length of time of my life. And uh, this year, I just had more than uh, I could ever consume. I think I'm three years, four years ahead, uh, which will come up here in just a minute. I'll illustrate that. But uh, I've been, so I've been considering uh, doing bundled firewood, which is a side hustle that a lot of people that have extra firewood get into. And up to this point, I can't find a vendor that uh, that they don't already have a contract with someone doing bundled firewood. So the the market is pretty well saturated at this point. But uh, I was exploring it enough and still working on it enough that I thought uh, the first step for me which I'll list this in my uh, down in the description on Amazon if you'd like to go look at it, uh, was a moisture meter. And this is how I determined kind of the, the myth anyway. And this is just a standard moisture meter. In fact, I might take it closer to you. This is for me was reasonable because I don't want to get uh, too involved or too, ex too much expense out before I even have a market to sell any product. But this is the one I bought. And I don't know how close I got to get to for you to see, but just the pin type. You just turn it on. You see it comes up, and then on the top it says mode, and you scroll through the menu. And the, the menu just in, involves uh, basically hardwood, softwood, boiler wood. So this is all everything that uh, I do is is pretty much uh, pretty much softwood. But uh, for the moisture content, now we have some hardwood, but I didn't take a moisture meter reading on it. Okay, this product and the product we're going to see later on was harvested, and this was put in the in the shed uh, the exact same year. So two years ago, we I think we we did maybe eight truckloads, and we put this in there, and we haven't even burnt all of it up. In fact, uh, we there was one more rick, probably one rick is what we consume a year right now. But I'm going to take a moisture meter, uh, a moisture content of this piece of wood, and then go down, and the, they're still in the rounds. And I've always heard that if it's in the rounds, it doesn't dry as rapidly as if if it's split. So I'm going to check that right right here right now, or uh, start check that. Then I'll take a piece of this down. This is actually mostly fir, but there's some pine in it too. I'll take this down to the other, the rounds that have been outside the same length of time, and I'll see the moisture content between this and that product down there. So, externally, externally, I'm hoping you can see it on the camera, 19%. That's in the middle of this piece. And I'll take this piece with me down there, this is definitely a piece of fur, and I'll split it in two and then check the moisture content. 19.5. Now, I did research for this video, 19.7. I did research for this video that what this should be. And everybody that I could find actually says anything below 20 you can consume or you could burn in the stove. And actually I was watching a channel and they said if you take a piece of firewood, you split it, you put it indoors out of the rain and you let it sit for two years you're pretty much guaranteed that that's, that firewood you can burn in the house. I bought a moisture meter just to make sure to see, because I didn't know prior to this, what this moisture content was. And come to find out, you'll see in just a minute. My first uh, primary test was that moisture and this moisture was the same rating at around 20%. So let's, I'll take you down the hill and I'll, I'll split some of that round up. I'll show you that round pile down there in just a minute. Let me turn this off and we'll go down and split some of that up and I'll take this piece and I'll probably split this one first otherwise I'll get confused on which product came from where. Okay, I got my moisture meter in my hand. I have the piece that I carried down with me just to make sure. Let me, put, let me split this a little bit and then I'll keep track of where it goes. That piece fell right here. Okay, so now I've split that up. We're going to check the internal portion of that and see what that is out of the woodshed. 
These pieces on this side, I think you can see it on the, uh, I just split up and that's where I took my primary test. But let's test, test this real quick. This is the external portion of it, the internal portion of it. I'm hoping you can see the two shades of it. Get my moisture meter set up. Oh, let's see, now I got 16.5 on the internal. Fifteen point two on the internal and sixteen point two on the internal. That's the piece that was actually in the woodshed. Let me check this. Now one thing I will tell you and I'll probably show you here. Let me sit this down for just a minute. Now one thing that they actually say is okay now remember this has been X outside the whole time. If the bark starts peeling you're starting to dry out. And this bark's peeling off, so. But it's, they've both been out the same amount of time. They've both been out two years. This is some that I just split up. That piece is 15, or excuse me, 16.5. And that was all, this is an internal piece. 16.5, that's out of this pile. I just split it up just to, to take my first test. 16.2. That piece is actually drier. In the round, outside, this piece is actually drier than what was in the woodshed. We won't take that one there. This one looks wetter. Let's check this. 25. That must have been the external portion of that. Internal, 20.9. 15.4. 17.4. Now by what I researched, everything in this pile you could you could still sell. Now remember, I, I think I mentioned it already, but I'm going to mention it again. It's been on the ground in the rounds for two years, but everything in here, excluding. Now I'm getting them confused. This is the this is our sample, our sample test. The one was from the woodshed, one was from these rounds, except for that's a piece of fur. See that piece of oak right there just rolled down the hill? This piece of oak, I would not, I don't know that I could split it, but I have no idea. Let's do the, let's do the outside, the face that we can actually test and see what it says. Now oak, of course, dries a lot slower than all the soft wood that I, that we actually use, but and then I'll see if I can split it, but I doubt it, okay? Uh, now we got to change the mode because that's a softwood, that's a hardwood. Let's change it and just stick it in the end and see what it says. You know, it's showing 15.1 on the end. Now, uh, and I apologize if I'm not going to be able to split this, but I can at least attempt to. And that one's actually a little bit long for the stove. Yeah, see? Put it down the middle. This actually got a little bit of rot in it, it looks like to me, but I'm going to take a moisture content of the middle of this. 17.4, 17.8, all about the same, even the yolk. So, virtually all of this pile you could burn according to what I researched.